never could be any insect in the world, I'll be a bee. What's in a pecal? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, or is it like pecali? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're quite far into spring now, but I feel like the weather outside lately has been looking kind of black. So I kind of thought if I can't have spring outside, the next best thing to do would be to bring it inside. So for today's video, I thought I'd do a little sort of late spring slash early summer homeware haul. Just showing you guys a few pretty pieces that I picked out just to kind of like brighten my room up a little bit. So let's get started. So first up is this beautiful um, duvet cover set, which I bought from Matalan. I feel like I can be quite picky when it comes to duvet cover sets because I moved house in September and I've kind of been looking for some really nice ones since then, but like so far I only managed to find like one. I was kind of looking for something on a white background, maybe with a hint of yellow and like a floral design. And the thing that I like about this is that it's kind of got the floral pattern, I don't know if you guys can see properly, but I didn't want a floral pattern where it kind of just looked like the flowers are being plonked onto the fabric. I kind of wanted something where it looks like they're almost sort of like growing up the sheet because I just thought it would look a lot more like pretty and elegant. Um, so this was perfect. And the other thing that I really love about this is that it is double sided. So you kind of get two for the price of one. So you've got like the beautiful floral print on one side. And then on the other side, you've got this sort of like striped design and a gorgeous sort of like, I'd say it's like a soft mustard yellow color, which I just thought was really pretty and really versatile. And I think it just makes it really good value for money. So this was like 35 pounds, which I think is pretty reasonable considering it is cotton pecal. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or is it like pecali? Pecal. <laughs> It's made of cotton, is my point. It also comes with a matching pair of pillowcases. I kind of feel like all duvet cover sets should come with like the pillowcases like sort of tied into the price. But it's happened to me before when I sort of bought what I thought was a duvet cover set and then it arrives and you figure out that it's actually only the duvet cover and you have to buy the pillowcases separately, which is just annoying. Like I'd rather you just sort of tacked a few pounds extra onto it just so that I get the pillowcases included. But the thing that I liked about this one is that it comes with these cute little ties on the side, which I just thought was really pretty. Like I think it just has this really gorgeous sort of like soft, pastel-y vintage vibe which is exactly what I was going for for my room because it just goes with like the whole aesthetic that I've got going on it's just like the perfect sort of spring bedding piece love everything about it so I'll link this for you guys in the description so obviously if you get a new duvet cover set you kind of want a lovely new bed sheet to match and I picked out this one in a lovely sort of sunny yellow from Asda so this is just like a regular cotton um, fitted sheet I think it's like it says it's a cotton sateen so you're supposed to get the sort of pretty luxurious shine that you get with satin but without the sort of like horrible like polyestery feel um honestly i was really disappointed when this arrived so like i bought it online and i got it click and collect and it said it was mustard which it might be appearing so on camera for you guys but in real life it's this sort of horrible sort of like lurid bright yellow and also I don't think that I would call this a sateen, like I'm not really seeing much of a shine, it just looks like a regular sort of cotton to me. Um, so yeah, this wasn't my favourite piece I must say. This was actually £11 because I got the king size version again. Um, I think £11 is a decent price for a fitted sheet to be honest. Maybe if I weren't buying this to match an existing duvet cover set it wouldn't have been an issue. But I thought it was going to go with the duvet cover set that I just showed you guys. But as you can see, like it really doesn't. They're two completely different shades of yellow. But this I think is just a little bit too like bright and lurid and just horrible. But this will be going back. Um, but in case you guys like it, I'll also link this for you in the description as well. So next up is another fitted sheet, which I kind of bought to like recover from the horror of the one that I just showed you. Cause honestly, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm scarred for life. This one is also in another sort of like sunny mustard yellow colour. I hope it's not giving you guys too much glare on screen. Um, this one is from Denelm and it was £18, which I do feel is a little on the high side for a fitted sheet because if you think about it, this is just a bed sheet and it's almost £20. But the reason that it was so expensive is because A, I have a king size bed. And also the good thing about these is that they come in, I think, four different depths. So this one is the 32cm one because my mattress is quite thick. So you can kind of pick one depending on like how sort of thick your mattress is, which I thought was really handy. I kind of feel like my fitted sheet purchases in terms of this haul were a bit of a fail because this one doesn't go with the duvet cover set either but I think it's kind of like close enough that I could probably get away with it because I feel like no one's really going to be like it's not that big of a deal but it's just like for me being very particular about things I did want them to match but yeah I think it's good enough I think it's a good price and I do love that they come in different sort of depths according to your mattress. So being a colour coordination queen now that I got my lovely new bedding set I kind of thought that I'd like some cushion covers to sort of 
I don't know, put on the bed and just go with it and make it look really pretty. So I looked online and I found this lovely one in Danelm. So it's just like a square cushion cover. I think it's like a 40cm by 40cm one. And it's on this sort of like tapestry type material um, with a lovely sort of lemon print. It kind of gave me like a bit of a cross stitch vibe as well, which is also very vintage and very, very me. I must admit I was kind of disappointed when I saw it in person because I thought the background bit which is supposed to be, I think on the website it was described as cream, but in real life it's more like a sort of soft beige colour. But I decided to buy it anyway just so that I could see what it looked like with the other interior bits that I bought. While I was in the store though I did also pick up another one. So it's got like a very similar vibe, so it's got like the white background, but this one is more like a floral print. I think it is really pretty, but it kind of gives me Monet vibes, like the way that the flowers are sort of I was going to say painted on, but obviously they're printed on. And I think Monet obviously is an amazing artist, but I tend to like art that has more sort of like defined forms, whereas this looks more like a sort of wish washy like watercolour. Another thing that I didn't really like was the back of it. Um, it looks a lot more muted on camera, but in real life it's this sort of like, I don't know, borderline luminous yellow it was kind of like borderline giving me the same horrible vibe as the first um fitted sheet that i showed you so yeah honestly i wasn't really impressed with either of these um this one was seven pounds i can't remember how much this one was but i think it was either five or six pounds i do think they're really great quality but i wasn't so keen on either of these so i think both of these will be going back so next up is this absolute beauty of a cushion and this one is also from Matalan. I feel like Matalan's homeware section for spring is just absolutely killing it. Like they had so many beautiful things and I literally just wanted to buy everything. So it's like a beautiful sort of floral print cushion cover again with that sort of like white background and then it's got these beautiful sort of like flowers going all the way up it and this was an absolute match made in heaven with the first duvet cover set that I showed you and that was what like drew me to it instantly. It's another practical double sided number though because on the back you've got this lovely like pink sort of soft velvet fabric which I just thought was really gorgeous it goes with like some other interior bits that i've already got in my room and it's really really soft and it goes with this sort of like little pretty vintage tea set that i bought and i just thought they would look really pretty together because the vintage tea set um it kind of sits like on a chair that i've got in my oh the chair that i'm currently sitting on um when i'm not filming like in a little corner of my room which is like my little cozy corner and yeah i love her the attention to detail on this was absolutely amazing especially considering it was only 12 pounds so it's got these sort of like embroidered bits on it which sort of like accentuate the flowers the embellishments are actually these really sort of pretty delicate seed beads um i think they're all in like a pretty sort of like orangey color and they just add like the perfect amount of like subtle shine which just gives it like a little extra something but without making it too much so around the edge it's also got this sort of like i don't really know what you call this they're not tassels and they're not quite scallops they're kind of like a combination of the two in a sort of like pretty like sage green color and i just think it's so perfectly finished this is probably i'd say like my favorite piece out of the entire haul it's just so beautiful i think it would look really pretty on my bed which is what i bought it for but you could also like have it um on a sofa for example in your living room or even in the kitchen if you wanted to be a little bit extra like that so this i'm gonna definitely keep so next up is this beautiful piece of wall art also from Matalan and I instantly fell in love with this because I thought it was pressed flower art when I first saw it so it's like this sort of wooden frame and then in the centre it's got like I was going to say it's glass but I think it might actually be plastic I think there's something so like beautiful and sort of romantic about pressed flower art it's kind of like you frozen the flower in time and it kind of reminds me of like you know the enchanted rose and beauty and the beast which is like my all-time favourite Disney film <laughs> Anyway, now that I've rambled on about my love for pressed flower art, I can reveal that it's not actually a pressed flower piece. But the thing is like, this was only five pounds and I don't really know how I thought that I was gonna be getting pressed flower art for a fiver. I think the flowers are actually sort of like printed on um, or painted on. So yeah, after I got over my initial disappointment at the fact that this wasn't a pressed flower piece, I did still think it was gorgeous and I decided to keep it anyway. I feel like this is the sort of thing that would look good in like pretty much any room in your house. Um, I bought it for my bedroom just to go above the bed. So I thought it looked really pretty sort of like combined with the duvet cover set and the cushion that I showed you just now. And I just thought it would like bring my room interiors together in a really sort of beautiful way. So I'm gonna be keeping this and I'll link it for you guys in the description as well. So next up is something really unusual. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but I haven't. And it's like a little scented room sachet, which I picked up from Primark. So it's just like a little sort of paper sachet. And then I'm assuming in Inside, it's got like some scented sort of beads and I picked out the lavender silk one because they had sort of different scents there but 
I kind of decided to go for a safe option because I know that I definitely like lavender because I had my face mask on at the time and I was really struggling to sort of like smell the other scents. So I didn't want to buy something that potentially like I didn't like the smell of and then I'd be stuck with it. I think the idea is that you just like hang these around your room or maybe like hang them in your wardrobe. And I sort of like hang this behind um, a mirror that I've got in my room and every so often like when the windows open, I just get like a really lovely like waft of fresh lavender. So usually I'm more like a scented candle kind of girl but I'm always on the lookout for sort of like innovative things that I can use to make my room smell pretty. And I found that this is actually really effective, especially considering it was only a pound. The one thing that I didn't like about this is that I don't think it's like the nicest thing in the world to look at, but I did look on the Primark website and they have some other ones which are also like scented room sachets, but they've got sort of like dried flowers inside them, which you can see, which I thought was a lot prettier. So I'm thinking I might either get some more of these regular ones um, in different scents, but I might also try and pick up one of the dried flower ones. So next up is another duvet cover set and this one is from H&M. So I'm not usually much of a white bedding kind of girl just because I can be a little bit on the clumsy side with like makeup and like pens and stuff like that but I instantly fell in love with this just because it's made of my favourite fabric of all time which is broderie anglais <laughs> obviously like I feel like I talk about this so much in my videos but I do genuinely just love the fabric. So this was 59 99 which honestly is on the pricey side for bedding especially for H&M home um, but I did use a 25% off discount code which made it more affordable and Another thing is this comes in two sizes as well. I don't actually know what the second size is, but I looked at the measurements and I picked the measurements that went with the king size bed. The thing that drew me to it, apart from like the beautiful sort of like broidery anglais, like embroidered detailing, is that it's got these really pretty sort of little bows which go along the edge and it's got the same on the matching pillowcase. I think this is the sort of thing where it'd be nice in like my sort of room, which I think is quite like sort of vibrant and colorful with like the pastel bits and pieces. But if you're more of like a neutrals girl, I think that would look really pretty as well. So obviously, like I said, I haven't tried this on my bed yet, but but I was really pleased with the quality. I've seen like Broderie Anglais do a cover sets before, but this is definitely like the prettiest one I think I've ever seen. Just that little sort of like bow detail, the fact that it comes with the pillowcases included is something that I really appreciated. So I'll link this for you guys in the description. Okay, so last up is this beautiful little bath mat, which is also from Matalan. So it's just like a lovely sort of cream bath mat. And then round the edge, it's got these beautiful like sort of flowers and pretty pastel colors. And in the center, it's got a bee. Bees are like my favorite sort of insect of all time. I just think they're so cute and they just sort of like go around. Being being really cute and being really fluffy and just like I don't know buzzing away and pollinating flowers and making them grow beautifully in a way that we all love and I just think they're like oh, I just love everything about them like I think if I could be any insect in the world I'd be a bee because I think they're just absolutely amazing so the thing about this is I do like it but I wasn't so keen on some of the colours so I love the pink and I love the yellow and I love the like sage green that it's got on it I could probably take the rust but the thing that I didn't like is the fact that they've made part of the bee um I don't think you can see it from there but they've made part of the bee grey so the bee is like grey and yellow and I know why they made it grey because I think black would have looked a little bit too harsh because it is supposed to be like a spring piece but at the same time grey isn't really one of my colours I think I might keep this anyway though just because it was only £10 and I think that is a really good price for it and the grey colour thing like I could kind of deal with it's not that deep it's just me being really like colour picky as I am so I think I could probably get over that. That brings me to the end of this haul I'm kind of hoping that me buying all those sort of like pretty pastely spring pieces encourages spring and the sun to maybe come back and I hope I managed to give you guys some useful sort of like homeware inspo for your homes as well. If so then please like, comment and subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and head over to shewalkstall.co.uk for some post on style with a little bit of substance thrown in. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, no.